Yo, what is up gamers, it's your boy Dino, welcome back to a brand new tutorial here on the channel using the Beth glitch. So in today's video guys, I've got another modded male outfit for you, um, obviously one shown in the thumbnail with the orange jersey. Um, I'm not too keen on this one to be honest with you, but I'm going to post it out there in case you guys find it a lot better than I did. But uh, you can go ahead and change it up with the Gurga, uh, Gurga pants, or Gurga pants, whatever you guys want to call it, but it's completely up to you. So obviously with this one guys, you'll need two consoles to do this glitch, or a friend who's trusted to jump onto your account with his console, and you'll also need Netcut. A video is provided in the description to go ahead and show you guys how to do the glitch. Alright, and so first of all, you need to go ahead and make your C2 Keep outfit, which I'll leave a tutorial in the description for that as well, how to do the first steps, and this is what it should look like. So to jump onto the first outfit, you'll need to make a merge. You'll also need to go ahead and make an outfit with the racing logos that you do want to go ahead and keep on this outfit. So for me, I did go ahead and go on to use the white one as you see here at the very, very bottom with the black logos as I think it looks pretty cool with our outfit. So again, we are making the outfit shown in today's thumbnail with the orange jersey and the orange gorga pants. Uh, but um, let me know, let me go, let me guys know what you think of this outfit in the description. And uh, if you go and enjoy today's tutorial, please do go ahead and drop a like on it. And if you are new around here, please do go ahead and subscribe, as we are on the road to 11,000 subscribers, 300 more. I want to that goal. Right, and guys, so go ahead and pick the outfit that you do want to go ahead and use for the logos. For me, I'm using this one here. I'm going to call it now Console One. Now we need to go ahead and make our merge outfit with the green t-shirt for our male. So go ahead and go to t-shirts, go to green v-neck and make that as your merge outfit component. Now as you see here I've got the shoulder pads and the belt on. I'm going to go ahead and take that off. So I'm going to go to utility vests and put on one utility vest and take it off. Pretty straightforward. Now go ahead and save this in your very very last slot. So 20, 19 or whatever your closest slot is to your last slot. I'm going to go ahead and call this as merge so I don't get confused with the outfit then. Now I'm going to go ahead and merge my console 1 with my C2 Keep outfit. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is put an Israel Parachute bag on, do the console Beth merge glitch, and that again is linked in the description. So we'll come back once we go ahead and done the glitch. Alright and guys, this is what you should look like once you've done the Beth glitch, two consoles glitch, whatever you want to call it. When you spawn online, you want to go ahead and host up a Crooker Cop mission and set it to player owned clothing. Once you're inside the mission, all you want to go ahead and do is go once to the left and then once to the right and your racing to tops should transfer over to your merge outfit. All you want to go ahead and do now is go into the mission, put a rebreather or an earpiece on and then quit the mission. Once you quit the mission, this is what you should look like. Go ahead now and save this as your new console 1 outfit. Okay, so now we're going to have to make our console 1 and console 2 outfit. All you want to go ahead and do is put a utility stand vest on because we are going to have to merge over the cop belt uh, later on in the tutorial. So all you want to go ahead and do now is go to the top section, go to utility vests and go ahead and scroll through here until you come across the sand utility vest. So it'll be this one just right here. Once you go ahead and equip that, now we're going to go ahead and do our pants or shoes merge glitch, okay? So first of all, you're going to go ahead and take off all accessories, just like you see here. Then go to the pants section, go to shorts, and you want to go ahead and put on the love heart boxer shorts. Now this will all be our console one outfit. Again, we are merging our shoes now, so we need to go ahead and put on our shorts. Alright, from here, head over to the shoe section, and you want to go ahead and go into the boots, and you want to go ahead and select the non-boots Alright, so we've got no boots on, we'll go ahead and save us now as your brand new console 1 outfit. For console 2, you want to go ahead and go to skate shoes and put on the grey skate shoes. Now this will be your console 2 outfit. Now, if you guys want to change up the outfit a little bit, uh, you can go ahead and put on some different shoes than I do use here in this tutorial. But for me, actually I'm going to use a Deadline Orange Shoes, okay, so because it goes pretty well with the Gurkha Pants as well, if you ask me. Uh, but it's up to you what guys you want to use, uh, what shoes you want to use for your outfit. Okay, it's pretty straightforward and pretty easy. Uh, we've got all the racing shoes here, all the categories, the ones that you can't flip. And also we've got other racing ones as well, as well as racing boots. But for me, I actually am using the Tron Deadline shoes, like I said here. 
but other than that you can select the racing boots like this one's here and flip the car to orange if you want to or if you wish or you've got different racing shoes here once you've selected the outfit that you want to use your shoes for go ahead and save as your brand new merge slot in slot 20 and then go ahead and select your content number one outfit now with this one you need to go ahead and put a classic parachute on and do the Beth glitch so we'll come back once we go ahead and done that glitch with that being said once you go ahead and done it you should spawn online back on your console one with no shoes on from here host up a crooked cop mission and set it to player owned clothing once someone is in a mission go ahead and ready up go into the mission and all you want to go ahead and do is find yourself going once to the left and once to the right to merge your tron deadline shoes onto your outfit then you want to go ahead and go into the mission you want to go ahead and put an earpiece or a rebreather on and then quit the mission once you quit the mission you're back on online session you will have the tron deadline shoes on your outfit you want to go ahead then and resave this as console number one now we're going to go ahead and create our joggers or merge pants over so first of all console one is now complete console two outfit will now have to go ahead and put on these standard warm black jeans so go to the jeans section in pants scroll through the categories until you come across the warm black jeans all right so we've got a warm black regular fit jeans we'll go ahead and save this now as console number two so console number one should have your boxer shorts on console two with the joggers like this with the jeans sorry now the sh what we're going to have to merge over is going to have and use our gorga pants so if you've got joggers you want to use instead you can go ahead and use them for me i'm using the gorga pants so now you want to go ahead and find your gorga pants that you want to use on your outfit for me i'm using orange ones and save it in your very last slot as merge now you want to go ahead and do the console to beth glitch first of all you need to go ahead and change your parachute back from classic back to israel so we'll come back once we go ahead and done that glitch Alright guys, this is what you should look like when you spawn online in the boxer shorts instead of the jeans. If so, go ahead and host up a crooked cop mission with that player owned clothing and someone invited into the mission. Alright, and so once you're in the mission, again set it to player owned clothing. This time you're going to go ahead once to the left and once to the right, and your logos will transfer onto your Gorga pants or joggers and will merge over to one fit. Go ahead and go into the mission, go ahead and put a rebreather or an earpiece on, and then quit the mission. Once you quit the mission, you go back into the online session, you will have the outfit correctly so far. Now we're going to go ahead and merge our gloves. You're going to go ahead and save this now as console number one outfit. This time, you're going to go ahead and go to the glove section for console 2 and put on the grey digital tactical. So go ahead and go to the accessory stand, go to gloves, scroll through there and suddenly come across the grey digital tactical gloves. Once you've got the grey digital tactical, go ahead and equip them and then go ahead and save us as console number 2 outfit. So console 1, no gloves, console 2, grey digital tactical. Now we need to go ahead and find our merge. So we're going to scroll through here and then we come across the racing gloves uh, sorry, category and go ahead and put on the black racing gloves in slot 20. So we've now got our merge. Now we're going to go ahead and select console number 1 outfit and merge it with console number 2. So go ahead and put your Israel parachute bag on console number 1 and let's do the Beth glitch and we'll come back once we've go ahead and done it. Alright, so now you've got to spawn in with no gloves on once you've done the Beth glitch itself. From here, host up a crooked cop mission again and set it to player owned clothes. Alright, so once you're in there, go ahead and go once to the left and once to the right to merge your racing gloves onto your outfit. All you want to go ahead and do now is go ahead and ready up, go into the mission, go ahead and put a rebreather or an earpiece on and then go ahead and quit the mission with your phone. Once you quit the mission, when you spawn back in online, this is what your outfit should look like. Now, save this as console number one outfit. From here, we're going to go ahead and merge our cop belt onto our outfit. So, we need to go ahead and have a cop belt saved in slot number 19 or somewhere slots inside your outfits. So, my slot 19 has got the gun belt on. I'm then going to go ahead and put a hazmat suit on 
to go ahead and transfer our gas mask over to our outfits. So once you've got the gas mask suit on, go ahead and save it as your brand new merge, as you see here. Now find yourself over to a telescope. Now a telescope can be found at the beach or your apartment. Run over to the telescope, spam right on a D-pad to get glitched out. Go ahead and hold your interaction menu and go ahead and select console number one. Walk away from the telescope and the gas mask should reappear onto your outfit. Go to a clothing store or a mask store and save this as your brand new console one outfit. With that being said then, all you want to go ahead and do is take the easy way out by going to interaction menu and killing yourself. Once you go ahead and proceed to spawn back into an online session, all you want to go ahead and do is click start, go to Rockstar Created Missions and go ahead and host up a titan of a job. Once you host up the titan of a job, go to a clothing store or gun store and go ahead and save this as your brand new merge. If you know the, gun, the glitch is going correctly, go ahead and select a different outfit and try and select a new outfit, your merge outfit with your interaction menu. So if I go to put my interaction menu now, go to style, select my merge, it will not transfer over. That means the glitch has worked. Go ahead then quit the mission. Once you're back online, go ahead and click start, go straight to a crooked cop as fast as you can. Once you're inside that crooked cop, make sure it is set to player owned clothing. Once you're in there, go once to the left and go ahead and ready up. The gun belt will transfer over to your brand new merge outfit. With that being said, make sure you go into the mission, go ahead and put a rebreather or an earpiece on, and then go ahead and quit the mission through your phone. Once you swarm back online, this should be your outfit here, fully done and saved as console number one. Before we can continue, go ahead and hold your interaction menu and go ahead and put on some heavy body armor for your console one outfit. Then go ahead and save this as your console one outfit. Your console one outfit now is complete. You need to go ahead and merge your new jerseys and color flips to one outfit. For me, it's a lot easier because I've got a jersey which is black and black armor on. I can flip the jersey color and the um, armor color in one go. If you guys don't have armor, you'll need to go ahead and merge it onto your jersey with the color jersey that you want to use. So for me to flip the color, I'm going to go ahead and save this as a brand new C2 to keep outfit. Then I'm going to go ahead and find the components on Silent's website which is linked in the description to flip the color of this chest, plate and also my jersey. So for me, I know that I already know the textures components to flip the color. I'm going to go to track suits, tops. I'm going to scroll through here and I come across the grey track top. So I found the grey track top right here and now I'm going to go ahead and flip the colour of my um, CEO vest. So I'm going to go to the armour, take off all accessories as well, all my, uh, my, sh my, sh my gloves sorry, and then go ahead and find the component for my um, chest armour flate to orange. So I'm going to go to my interaction menu, I'm going to go ahead and put on some certain armour that flips the colour to orange. So I'm going to go ahead and put the black armor on now to flip the color to orange and save this as my C11 keep. If you guys are flipping helmets as well, you can do this before doing the glitch itself to get an orange helmet. So the orange helmets are provided below, uh, sorry, the orange helmet, the colored helmets are provided below. If you guys want different helmet colors such as white, blue, green and stuff like that, red, uh, the components will be linked in another video which is in the description as well, okay, the colored helmets glitch. So for me, I actually want to go ahead and flip the colour of my helmet white to orange. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to the biker helmets top section, okay? Oh, sorry, helmet section. And I want to go ahead and put on the carbon dome. That is then turned on flipped the colour from white to obviously orange, because that's the colour of our outfit. So once you go ahead and done that, make sure you save this as your console one one again. So you've got your helmet, your colour flip, jersey colour, and your armour. Alright, so what you want to do now is save this console 1 outfit, this is your console 2 outfit. You want to go ahead and select console 1 1 outfit and merge it with Sue 2 outfit to so flip the colours of your jersey and your and your armour, sorry. So as always, go ahead and put an Israel parachute bag on, do the glitch and also put glasses on with your console 1 outfit if you are doing helmets at the same time. So go ahead and do the glitch and we'll come back once we've done it. 
All right, so this is what you should look like once you go ahead and flip the colors of both armor and obviously your jersey itself. From here, you want to go ahead and save this as your brand new slot as merge. Now to finish off our components of our outfits, we really want to go ahead and select that outfit that we made at the very, very beginning, the console to keep. All right, and so you can delete those C22 and C11. We go ahead and select our outfit now, C2 keep, and go ahead and put our components on to not flip the colors of our joggers, our shoes, and also our gloves. So first of all, you want to head to the pants section. You want to go to cargo pants, and you want to go ahead and put on the same cargo pants components I do use here to keep the color of our orange and black gorga pants. Okay then, so that's that one done right there. These are the components. Second, we need to go to, go to the, pant, uh, the shoe section, go to the rubberized boots, and we want to go ahead and purchase the blue and black rubberized trails. So that'd be these ones right here. Go ahead and put those on. Then, to finish off our outfit, we need to go ahead and stay the color to keep the orange and white um, gloves, racing gloves. So go to gloves section, and you want to scroll through here until you come across the same components I do use here in the tutorial to flip the color from black to orange and white. So these are the gloves right here. Go ahead and purchase them, and now save this as your C2 outfit. Now you want to go ahead and keep your C2 keep for another tutorial if you're going to use it later on in, the, in, in my channel, sorry. Uh, make sure you've got your C1 outfit as this shown in a minute. And this is your C2 outfit, okay? So C2 outfit looks like this, and C1 outfit looks like this. All right, so now you're going to have to merge C1 with C2, and then you should be sorted to go. You need to use the Israel parachute bag to do this, uh, but other than that, you should have no problems with this glitch whatsoever. Alright guys, so we'll go ahead and do the glitch and we'll come back once we've gone ahead and done the glitch. Alright then guys, this is what your should final outcome should look like right now once you've done the glitch. From here, host up a, t a crooked cop mission, sorry, I was about to say title of a job, and host it up to a player owned clothing. Once you're in the mission, go ahead and put it to player owned, go once to the left and once to the right, and it should all merge over as one. Then go ahead and ready up, go into the mission, put a rebreather or an earpiece on, and then go ahead and quit the mission through your phone. Once you're done, you can go ahead and back out the mission, and the outfit is then completely yours. So there we go guys, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, please do go ahead and drop a like, subscribe. Until next time, it's your boy Dino. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the very, very next one. You can go ahead Peace and out, homies.